Okay, so a little bit of progress. Um, there are two pump bolts that we'll pick up to here and here. You can't see them. They're underneath of here. They're, well, they go straight into this housing. On the bottom, you're oil pump and you replace it. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a bitch. So, if you have the tools to drop the oil pan and the K-member, like a lift and time, it'll probably take you just as little time to do that as this bullshit. Anyway, uh, that being said, 48 minutes of my life wasted on two, two bolts. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting a piece of electrical tape uh, about a foot long, punching the bolt through it so it would be sturdy enough to hold on to, and then finger feeding it up into the housing underneath because it's almost impossible to get at. However, I will point out, no one has done this, if you go behind here, behind the pump housing, it doesn't look like much, but there is a small void, and I don't have big hands, I don't have small hands, I'm somewhere in the middle, but you can actually get your finger, if you push, don't fight it vertically, push down towards the bottom, and keep your hand relaxed, try to reach in there, you can almost get um, one finger on the screw head, like this much, to hold it in place, while the other finger is down here, tucked in on that sharp, sharp edge, cutting itself, to rotate the bolt and get your spin on, whether it's on or off. And that's what I ended up doing, that was the only thing that finally worked, and once I got it flush up with the housing, I broke the tape off, made sure all the pieces were intact, so that was my safety strap in case it fell, it fell a bunch of times. Uh, that tape is awesome. Um, I tried a string around it to spin it, it just, I couldn't get enough grip, it's too, too much oil. Um, so anyway, there's that piece of the puzzle. But once you get it there, you get your combo wrench. You know, just a, I mean, hell, everybody knows what a combo wrench is. But just a small one, something that has, I've had this set since I was probably 19. It's an old Craftsman set, 10 mil. It's got just enough of an angle on it where you can get in there like this, and then towards the end like this. And you can get enough torque on there. Uh, and that's that. Anyway, so this is the TSS crank sprocket. Um, it's still, remember, the keyway is down here at about 5 o'clock, which puts this timing mark at about 12, uh, right at 12. Now that timing mark, if you follow it through, you will see that blue link on the chain. I line up the blue link here. And remember how, for the left mark, you can see it there, left, and a dash, uh, also lined up true with that other blue link. So one, blink, one blue link on that timing mark, one blue link on this timing mark, 89 inch pounds, uh, this bolt for this guide, this one sits here, we're going to put in the tensioner once I get it loaded up and set it, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side, I'm going to have to rotate the crank uh, one full turn after this, and then, I believe it is, I'll double check, I'm going to have to rotate it from the 5 o'clock position that it will be in from one full turn all the way to 12, and then I'll be doing the exact same thing I did on this side to this side. Remember, my marks are right side straight up and down where they should be, where they were when I took them off. I haven't moved them. I can turn the crank, according to Ford, uh, and get what I need. So, more in a minute.